Um, we're following Ken Rockman around just for a little bit as he's doing a piece that we'll be looking at uh, delegates as their experience at the yeah, convention. Yeah, we're sort of doing a behind the scenes, well, not really behind the scenes, but sort of uh, this will air after it's all over. So what we wanted to do is follow a couple of delegates, uh, talk to the bloggers, because that was an, uh, an element that's never been here before. It's sort of just look at, talk to some people who come to the party from other parties that are now liberals. We just wanted to do a, something slightly different, and it's working out that way. <laughs> so... Um, do you want to do, do, do this in here, or do you want to do this uh, outside somewhere? Okay, okay. We've got, uh, so we don't, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll tell the, the camera guy who's shooting stuff, and the blog guys are here, here now, too, so we'll, we'll all just be in the same spot. Um, CPAC has a mandate, like, specifically beyond any of the other networks that yeah. exclusively focus on politics. Yeah. Do you think this fits within, or this sort of goes beyond what the other networks are doing when you're focusing on this behind the scenes stuff and looking at bloggers? Um, I, yeah, well, I think so. I mean, in terms of, I mean, it's always a struggle to come up with anything that's, um, that everybody else isn't doing, you know? Uh, and very often we all end up doing much the same things, or ver our version of the same thing. Um, I'm kind of happy with the fact that this time around, we got interested in the whole the whole blogging aspect of it, which is, is, is new, but also that the stuff that we got from the guys who were blogging here was really good stuff. I mean, it was it was, from from a television point of view, it was gold. I mean, uh, the discussions going on in the room with all of those guys was intense and, and impassioned and. Uh, and sitting with them when the numbers came out at midnight last night and watching their reactions to it was just, I mean, in, in television terms, you couldn't buy anything better. And in television terms, uh, it's always nice when something like that happens and you look around and realize you're the only people with a camera there. <laughs> That's always good. <laughs> We're crazy. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Where's Dan? He's, uh, we got separated yeah. on several meets at the right. I thought that okay. uh, was fine. Let's, uh, let's do it here. Who went over to who? Somebody over somebody? Uh, there's only three of them left. Uh, three? Ken was yeah, gone. Where'd he go? That's where the last people actually go. Who went off? There's only three people. He dropped off. There's only three people left over now. He didn't go to anybody? Well, we don't know yet. So this is, this is the conversation we're about to have. These guys are going to shoot us shooting. He's going to shoot them shooting us. They're going to be like an extra print. He's going to be shooting this. They're going to be shooting this. We're going to be shooting this. It's round and round and round. Uh, what other sort of stuff are you and perhaps the network looking at specifically as you try to sort of cover the convention in your own way? Well, my, my colleagues behind us up here on the stage are doing the sort of traditional, you know, behind the desk, talking heads kind of thing, and the in, constant analysis and everything. And that is, uh, I've, I've only done bits of that in my career. It's not something that I've ever had to do a lot of. And I'm in awe of anybody who can do that uh, uh, for the kind of hours they have to put in. It's, it's brutal. Um, but we've got, I don't know, I mean, I think that we... The difference between what CPAC's doing and what the other networks are doing is simply that we, as you said, as part of our mandate is to do, is to not just do it, but to do it wall to wall, and we and we really do. I mean, these guys, these guys are putting in hours that are just backbreaking. I mean, I don't, you know, fellows out there with cameras on their shoulders. I have nothing but admiration for the cameraman. I don't know how they can do. It. I don't know how their legs can hold up under all this. You know, we're talking 12, 14, 16 hours non-stop stuff. It's this brutal, and the other networks. Don't ha aren't doing that. I mean, we were just saying that if you look at those last numbers, he didn't lose that many. He went down to 219. Who we? No, Bright, Bright, Dryden, Bright, Dryden went down to 219, suggesting perhaps that his people were staying with him and they might go wherever he tells them to. And he went away. So.
Mr. Shoot. Even, even that, though, even that. Yep. Dryden was last on this belt, so he yep. had to go. Yes. Your guy could have stayed on. Yes. That comes as a shock to you. You have to weigh all the different relationships you have, and you have to think to the voices back in your head, like, what values do I want to bring forward? What do I want to see all my right. party become? So where are you leaning now? Stop being rhetorical and give me an answer. I don't know. Sure, I can't answer. answer. It's funny, you know. You, you, you go to a million of these things, and you see people like that who just oh, get so, who are so completely okay. into it, and then something like that happens, and you begin to understand the lure of all of this for people, you know, that they're so emotionally involved in it, and then all of a sudden it's gone. Incredible. There's no there. No. And this wasn't gentle either because he was not, I don't think any of them were expecting that. No. They thought Dryden's gone, there'll still be four of them on the ballot, and then they just they said three yeah. names, and that was that. Well, well. This will be fun. <laughs> the only thing that would prevent us from carrying stuff live here would be if the House of Commons was sitting because we are mandated in a licensing agreement to carry anything that's going on in the House of Commons. So if something's going on in the House, we have to run it, regardless. But the House rose, and nobody's sitting in the House, so we can do all of this stuff. So that's, I mean, that's the difference. It's just the sheer, the sheer volume of it is, is the difference between us and the, and the other networks. The quality is just as good. It's just a difference in volume. Um, and I'd be remiss if I didn't have you here at the political convention after some pretty exciting happenings. It looks like it's going to go to fourth ballots. What are your thoughts on the convention so far, and who do you think is going to come out? Well, I don't know. You know, it's interesting because I was, uh, I mean, you, you, you always, in the back of your mind as you're watching all this stuff, you sort of, you're thinking, okay, here's who I think it's going to be. And so, and I've been saying for about a week that I thought, uh, that I was putting my money on Dion, that I thought he might come up the middle. And then yesterday at the convention, after being out and talking to delegates virtually all day long, I was starting to waver on that one because everything seemed so mushy. It was like nobody was willing to talk about their second choice. And originally, the, the numbers, the polling numbers were suggesting that Dion had this great second option number. Uh, but suddenly, that all seemed to be going soft, and I thought, well, okay, maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe there's a, and if it's going to be between Kennedy and, and, uh, and Dion to see who's going to come up the middle. But after ballot one, and now after ballot two, I think he's got it. I think Ignatieff is stalled. Uh, I think Ray's got momentum, but if if Kennedy goes to Dion, and that hasn't been determined at the moment we're speaking yet, but if he goes to Dion... Actually, he has gone to Dion. Has he gone? He has. Okay, well, then there you go. So he's gone to Dion. If his people do that, and Ignatieff starts to bleed delegates, Ignatieff delegates are not going to go to Ray. There's an animosity there, that, so that's not going to happen. So where do they go? Do they go to Dion, and then... Then it's a Ray Dion fight, and then it goes to four ballots, and then, I don't know, I guess I'd still have to say, I'll go with my original instinct so I can look prescient if it happens and say, Stefan Dion. I don't know. We'll see. But it's a mugs game. It's always a mugs game, and you always end up looking like an idiot. So there you go. Well, thanks so much for your time, and okay, have a good day. No problem.